Hey, in this video, I want to talk about associating transformation chains. And I know that sounds like a big mouthful of words. Let's just talk about what it means, okay? So right now, I have, let's, let's pretend I don't have them visible at the moment. I just click that, hide controls. I'm going to click on the mouth on a swap that I know has deformers on it. And I'm going to show my current deformers and I will see that I've got some deformers on here, and on two, and on six, okay? So what I wanna do is, let's say that I wanted to rename this mouth. Maybe I don't like front HT06, maybe that doesn't make sense anymore. So I come through here in the timeline, and go Control D, and I decide, eh, I don't need the T anymore. And I press okay. Hey, what happened to the deformers? They're not there anymore. Oh man, what's up? Don't worry, I'll show you what's going on. If I open up the transformation switch properties, I'm going to see that the first transformation chain is associated with a drawing called front HT01, and then HT02, and then HT06. But the problem is, I just renamed that thing. So I don't even have a swatch, or uh, sorry, I don't even have a swap named front HT06 anymore. I got rid of the T. So watch what we can do to get this mouth to have deformers again. I have a few different options. I could come up here to the deformer dropdown and I could say that I want the front HT06 chain. And there you go. Look what it did. It went ahead and added a little semicolon. It put the new name that I just gave it into that list. So it says, this deformation chain, whenever a swap named this or this shows up, that deformation chain will show up with it. Now, I got rid of the HT06, right? I don't have that in here. So, Let's keep things nice and tidy and press delete just so that um, nobody gets confused. And then I might go back through here and just rename the group to get rid of the T and then maybe come up here and rename the chain to get rid of the T. So that is associating transformation chains with drawings, okay? So that's why it's a good idea to simply make sure that you're naming the drawing swap what you want it to be before you add deformers, because then it will automatically have the right name in here. So just avoid naming, renaming them after the deformers have been created. Um, but if you need to, it's not too hard to go fix it. You just need to make sure that the right swap name is sitting in here. Now, I did tell you there's a couple ways that you could put this in. Okay, let's go back to here. Okay, it lost its, its parent. <laughs> Doesn't remember what, what we wanted it to be with it um, because we don't have a T in here. So you simply could, you don't have to use this drop down. You could just come in here and type the right thing. Boom, there you go. So me, most of the time, I'll come in, just open up this little transformation switch and add the name there myself. I'm just gonna rename this back to what I had before. One other thing that I want you to be aware of um, that happened earlier in this course um, is whenever you create a new um, deformer, let me just head over here to the spot. Let's say that I wanted a deformer on this spot. Oops, I pressed plus. I didn't mean to press plus. Let's say I don't press plus. And I'm making a little envelope deformer. Hold control. No, alt. All right. And then um, if you were to look in here, there's no transformation switch set up like this. There's just a single chain in here. 
Well, what if you happen to need to draw another swap for that later? Okay. It's automatically going to show up with the one chain. And if you try to go to your rigging tool and press plus, sometimes this works and sometimes it doesn't. It did automatically make this transformation switch set up for us, but occasionally it doesn't, and in older versions of Harmony it didn't. And so that is the reason why I tell you, I'm gonna press undo a bunch of times. Whenever you're creating a deformation chain, please click on this little plus, all right? Create new deformation chain. Um, I think that the setting is, is right here, automatically create a group when creating a new deformation rig. So maybe we don't have to click the plus anymore because of that button, but not every version of Harmony had that button. And occasionally you might run into a spot anyway that it just won't seem to work. So, all right, thanks for watching. Bye. See you soon.